Good evening, I'm meteorologist Grant Skinner with the News 5 First Alert Storm Team here with a quick tropical update on this Sunday, September 3rd. Tracking two named storms right now, Tropical Storm Gert and Tropical Storm Katia. Also tracking two tropical waves off the west coast of Africa. We'll start with Gert. This has been weakening over time. Now 50 mile per hour winds. Pressure is now at almost 1,000 millibars and is quickly moving to the north northeast at 18 miles per hour. We'll eventually take a turn to the northwest and will continue to weaken. We'll eventually fizzle out in the coming days. And Katia, same fate. It's going to fizzle out here soon. 40 mile per hour winds now, so barely a tropical storm. It's moving to the northwest and will likely just kind of meander, move back to the southeast and will weaken over time. No threats to the U.S. with either system. These systems also do not pose a threat to our stretch of the Gulf Coast or the U.S., but something to watch over time. Again, as of now, they don't pose any threats, but they have not developed into systems yet. First, we have a the area in red here has a high chance of development over the next seven days. It's a tropical wave located here. As it moves over this red area here, could have some slow development over time. It could become a, a depression by the middle of this coming week. Also watching another tropical wave off the west coast of Africa has a low chance now, but both long term systems to watch. And we'll keep you updated on the latest forecast models of those systems as they move across the Atlantic. Now we've gone through a lot of storm names. The next storm name on our list is Lee, then Margo, and then Nigel. Those are the next few storm names. And if you want to get the latest tracks and updates, you can go to the Hurricane Map Room. You just go to the Weather tab on our website, WKRG.com, and click on Hurricane Map Room. These will have the latest tracks on all of our active storms. I'm meteorologist Grant Skinner, WKRG News 5.